Hello everyone and welcome back to the little corner of YouTube which goes under the name of Reggie's Corner. It was the age of heroic deeds. It was the age of the Norse. People feared the old gods then, for they were strong and wont to trifle in human affairs. Iron men with iron souls brought death and fire in their fearsome dragon ships. Many foes did they send to Valhalla, cradled in the arms of the Valkyr. The greatest of them desired more than an eternity of glorious battle. They desired Odin's favor while still they lived on Midgard. One stormy night, High above the waves in a magic ship, four of the mightiest warriors journeyed in their dreams to Asgard, where Odin Allfather beheld them with his all-seeing eye. chosen on Midgard, then prove who amongst you is mightiest. To do this, you must first earn favor with the lesser gods by completing their quests. Choose well thy paths, be true to their nature, and thy rewards will be great. Only then shall one of you be deemed worthy to become my favored servant, and be known throughout eternity as the Hammer of the Gods. As our guest here on Reggie's Corner, we have K of D again, and he was the one who helmed the boats in our Pirates run, so welcome back. Thank you. Uh, and now maybe we should switch over so they can actually see us, if they want to do that, for some reason. Ah, uh, we will be doing this in English, uh, if it wasn't clear before. <laughs> here we are. Hammer of the Gods. Hammer of the Gods. <laughs> I should have wore a Viking helmet. You should. And sh so should you. Yes. But we didn't. Um, I think we've mentioned what is like needed to be mentioned. We're gonna go ahead and try to do a story run. Just start up. We haven't played this game in better part of 20 years, maybe. No, probably since 95. Yeah, so we'll probably be a bit rusty. We might even die horribly within the first 10 minutes. But we'll try and see where we end up, uh, I guess. <laughs> so, um, I think we should just get right on it if we so. can there we go so uh, we will probably have the little camera window up here in the corner hopefully it won't be too obtrusive if it is we might remove it eventually but we thought it would be nice for us to see ourselves for several hours so that's why I'm just like that <laughs> so we want to control the elves I suppose so the idea of this game is that you do quests for the Viking gods yes and you can choose to play as these four different fractions, really. Yeah. And they're from lore somewhat, even though I don't remember the trolls as being a nation. No. And it's mostly uh, the na like the way they are. The difference between them is basically the special units you get. Yeah. So basically, I think the humans are best like random overall average status, but the elves are super good at bows, obviously. But they're kind of crap at everything else. Yes. Uh, the dwarves are quite sturdy, pretty good warriors, but slow if I remember correctly. And the trolls are generally quite bad, but their hero units are super good. Yes. And no matter who you play, you still have normal sort of humans. Yes. Vikings. Yes. It's uh, very much Vikings in this game. Historic is the 
the proper European. Yeah, map. exactly. I forget how it starts in Scandinavia and then it goes down t through the Germanic lands at least. Yeah, yeah, how far south it goes. Definitely Germany. I guess so. Done. All right. So maybe we fixed it somehow. The most elfish name of the world. Very Obvi convincing, obviously. <laughs> So this is a turn-based strategy game, as will become obvious. Yes. Ooh. Shouldn't there have been some sort of music? <laughs> mm, I think it comes <laughs> in when you're on the map. Yeah, uh, we will... This usually happens at the beginning of the game. Uh, people will try to be friends, so we will be friends. Oh yeah, you had trade and stuff as well. If you are friendly or neutral, I believe you can trade. Yeah. Well, let's Fjolnir, go for that. Son of Fry. Daughter of Friar Fjolnir, and it was yeah. Yeah. so. Here's the tree, it's a different tree for for each uh, civilization, although the top of them is the same. So that's the object of the game. Whoever completes Odin's quest first of the four yes. civilizations win. Yeah, and um, usually, like the smaller gods on the way up are kind of fun. They usually have quite varied uh, quests, but at the end of it, it's basically just kill everyone else, take all their stuff, yeah. and if you manage to do that, the game just ends. And since we have, I mean, there are four civilizations trying to do this for people, so oh, yeah. whatever you want to call it. So there's always the trade-off between, do you want to do a lot of these? Yeah. Because you get good hero units by doing them usually, or oh, other yeah. things. Or do you want to, but then you risk the other Civilization has gone to the top, yes. except that the Odin mission is about conquest. Yes, so eventually you will try to kill everyone else, yeah. or just kill all the AI, I think. Yeah. Because it was like 80% of the map, I think. Yeah, most of it, I mean, everywhere where there weren't Vikings yeah, yeah, yeah. are still not Vikings. Yeah. So, um, I think both of those at the bottom. Ross, daughter of Friar. Exactly. So I think we should do the Fjolnir one, because yeah. uh, we have two Fjolnir, daughters, we can lose one, that's fine. And we'll get something right at the end of the first turn. Yeah, so let's go with that. It's really weird for being elves in Russia, but... So we can see here, we haven't explored anything obviously, but we yeah. can see that there's a town over to the left. Yep. And some smaller settlements. These castle things can actually be castles. Yes. And they the are nights. super dangerous in the early game. It's also a monastery to the south, I believe I saw. And monsters, we should probably run over what monsters is. They are, as they say, but they actually have monks fighting for them. Yes. And for some unknown reason, they come out fighting with frying pans, and they come out, which is hilarious because they are absolutely terrible at fighting, obviously. And they have loot. Indeed. Yes. So we'll be we will be visiting monasteries on and off. Yeah, and we have three units here. Uh, I think it's one human hero. Yeah. This this guy or, uh, with the helm. Stronger. It's like a. A really good Viking. And we also have a normal fighting melee type unit. Yes. And a bow, an yes. archer, basically. And I don't about, remember how could we take guys out from the cities. Uh, I think you use the menus, the actions menu. Oh, yeah, you could recruit people. Yes. And you can also uh, build stuff. I don't know what colonize does. So we should say that when we play this game, Back in the day, we didn't really understand all these mechanics. We really didn't. We were terrible. Yeah. But we were also like super young. Yes. <laughs> but so we managed to play this without recruiting Anything. units beyond the ones you get from the gods. Well, we should be honest. We tried to play this without recruiting. We made it quite far. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, it was impossible to finish the game it was because quite our guys challenging. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> our guys died. We had like an epic run where we had one hero unit who made his way through basically half of Europe. Yes. Before he died. In a storm at sea, I think, yeah. because there are some weather effects in, as well in this game. Yeah, and uh, if you, if you hover the mouse over there, you can see that we have a boat yeah. in this town, and we can choose to carry yeah, it with us, we, which will make us move slower, I believe. If we click this, we will carry the boat with us, and we can also have it like carried with us over land. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll leave it when they hit like bodies of water. Yeah. And you can also, if you want to go along the coast or like really close to the coast yeah. or just try to get across. If you try to get across, you can run into sea serpents and they will kill you. Yes. Um, oh, maybe that was a bit harsh. They will kill you like in 90% of the game. At the end, you'll have so 
many power units that you can take them on and kill them instead. And I think you get some stuff for doing that as well. I, I, I uh, so as well. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. We should um, probably leave this boat yeah, for now. Yeah, we should now. leave it for now. We're not anywhere near the coast. Yeah. So, so let's see what we can recruit. Yes. We have 50. We should have well. some uh, some peasants. No. Or too little wealth. I think we might be too early. Like yeah. I don't think you could recruit uh, maybe the first round. Or no, something. I think they generate. But yeah, here's anyway the screen, and you can see the stats for. The elves are obviously our fraction special units. Uh, there are base units of elves, and these are no. somewhat, not very, I mean, they're more expensive than the base units, the normal base units, but they're slightly cheaper than the hero units. Well, basically, you can compare them to the Viking bowmen, yeah. which are the standard archers, yes. and they're slightly better defense they have. But they suck at hitting anything. Well, but they have the same stats, and they shoot more arrows, yeah. and they're a little bit faster. So, well. a, a fairly good strategy for this game is to just pile up with these Viking bowmen, because archers are kind of OP in this game. If you have a lot of them, you will down almost anything before it reaches yes. your lines. But we'll go through that when we actually get into combat. Yes. Anyway, we can't really... They're oh, not available. Yeah, and if you had some, you could just fill in these. This is the maximum number of space you have in like an army unit. Uh, have similar to heroes, yeah, I might imagine. It is, it is. So I think we'll leave that for now. So the question is, which way should we explore? We should. Uh, there's a road that goes up to the northwest as well. How did we... Um, the quest we have, did it auto-complete? Yes. If we right. have a daughter, right? Yeah, which we do. So I'm not sure how you get more, but... I'm not even sure you can. No, me neither. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, we have this, and we'll try to... Oh yeah, so here you can see, obviously, as in all other games, yeah. you can make it here, but not the entire way. So I think we could make it to the northwest, because of the road. Like, up here, yeah. So we should do that. Yeah, but click one unit off, yeah. maybe, see if it's dangerous. And Kevla. this is Kevla, and it's like a small village, I think, yeah. this little symbol. So it's possible to attack it, but I'm not sure if it's advisable. No. So we could just go around it. Let's search around the area the next, a little bit. the um, next mission we have is to... Move 100 squares? Yeah, I think so. We're on cover. And here we have it. Uh, your daughter accepts the marriage proposal is what you can see up there in the corner. And Fjolnir, son of Frey, gives you the following, and Elfrir, and this is a really good unit. Yes. Uh, Excellent. We'll... Yeah, and so those you can see the other guys, guys yeah, doing yeah. that. Um, or oh, Blood Axe, the troll. We will almost certainly be at war with this guy at some point. Yes. Uh, they usually start out in Norway, friendly. Think, right? No, where do but they start? They're in Russia as well. Oh, they're in, they're, well. they're yeah, in that's Siberia. Right. That's right. It's the dwarves that start in, Tr in Trondheim. Yes. Weird. And the no, human starts in Astrashund for whatever reason. Yeah. Even though Uppsala is in the game. Yes. In Javla as well. Yes. Uh, anyway. So, we'll accept everything to begin with. I'm not sure what the trade, how the trade works, actually. No, I don't think we ever looked into that much when we played it no. back in the day. I will just go ahead and accept oh, everything. Erik Nomshan. Yeah. The dwarf also. The Norwegian dwarf. He's a good guy. Our new treaty will bring new levels of civilization to our kingdom. It's just a message. Yeah. He's excited. May our new treaty enrich both kingdoms. Partial, Partial trade, trade. Which is better than the limited trade yeah. we so have. We'll Ross, daughter of Friar. So now we have two new ones. We could check them out, even though I think we should take the 100 yeah, let's thing. Let's see what they are. Gersemi, daughter of Friar. Right, so we don't have... We don't have 250 yeah, gold, so we can't really do that yeah. now. So we collected 102. I believe that's because of the city we have. Yes. Hindla, the witch. Hey, this one right, is actually... So that one's quite good. I think we have... I'm not sure if the thing we found counts as a city or if we need to go to the bigger one. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Yeah, let's t let's pick this one. Uh, and we'll do this one. I'm not sure if it counts what we have done or if we have to. Yeah, it does. It because does. then we can just pick it eventually yeah. and we'll have it. So we'll go with Hindla for now. Yeah. And also, uh, might be good to mention for people who aren't into the viking lore these are actual names of real goddesses and people from the mythology so it's not like yes. made up stuff no it's a bit of a mix though between how they're pronounced and spelled and stuff like that yes. but they're basically the same guys in german and scandinavian lore yes um i think they have their english names no they don't yeah no. they do yeah i think they actually do yeah, they some do. of them are just almost the same as the original ones, I would say. Yeah. 
if you could say that anyone is original, but the Nordic ones anyway. Let's go with this. So, uh, this so might be a town, and it's close to a forest. Yes. But they also have they also a castle, have castle there, which could be potentially yeah. really bad. We also have the elf hero sitting in elf. Yeah, and we should probably no, we should not do that. Yes. How did you? I'm not sure if you could you do wait. Maybe? Well, I think yeah. yeah. And then we could just have him join. Join. I think that's probably yeah, the best. As well, he has a lot of movement. Anyway. Yeah, and it, and when you do that, it's always good to remember to actually click these because otherwise they'll just take off without him. Um, I'm not sure if we have any larger cities. This might be a village as well. Yeah, I think they all are villages, but we might maybe they count. I'm not sure. And here we have we have a lot of these. Yeah. So is Kevla next to a forest? No. It no. is not. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I guess Should we venture down here and see what happens? We might just die. Yeah, I guess it's early enough that we can reach. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's see what happens here. We won't make it very far. We won't make it very far because we have moved the elf here yeah. already. So let's see if we get that. Yeah, okay, we already got it. because. Ah, so then let's not make so our way down there. We got Forest, Forest Lore. So we can now move slightly better yes. in forested areas, which is good because we are in the deep forest. Their new treaty, yeah, he probably will say pretty much the same as the humans said the yeah. last turn. And they expand the... And partial trade. And when uh, things start to decline, they'll usually just back up a level. Yeah. And then they back up a level. And, and then, then they start insulting you. And then they try to attack and take all your stuff. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> the usual. Usual procedure. Right. So, um, we could also, in this turn, look at recruiting... Yes, let's let's see if we can. It might be nice to, to explore a bit faster. I'm just gonna accept everything from yes. these guys. Because there. They're good Father guys. Okay, so now we have two more. We should just look into them real quick. Forsetta, the oh, this is for starting a new colony. Right. So there are uh, cities that have been like there are city that have burned that, down. Yeah, basically where there could be a city, but there isn't yeah. one currently. So it's not like in civilization where you can found a city anywhere. You have to have a designated city slot. Yeah. But you could. <laughs> Actually, when I, play, new one, yeah. you, when I played this way back, I used to burn down a city through race and then founded a new city on top of that. There are benefits to it. Yes, there are, because you get slightly more gold if you raid something, uh, no, raise something to the ground. Obviously, you can't come back because it's gone, but... You, know. you also get your special units to recruit there, which you want if it's a human city, I believe. You're right. That, that's correct. Anyway, I think we should wait with this one for now. Mm -hmm. Belada! The Prophetess. Success is not necessary. That's good. Should we do that? I think we can take that. City the actually. little small one. Yeah. One city of any size, which is the key here, because we can just go and pick on any weak little place. We'll do that. Let's see if we should recruit anything. Let's see if we can do that first, yeah. Um, Actions. Oh, yeah. And now we have the epic songs. It's only on the map for you, apparently. Yeah. Okay, we have some guys now. Yeah, they cost 90, so we can afford them if we want. Should we? I think we should. Yeah, I think we should, kind of, think we should as well. None available. Yeah, I only want one. Okay, so here we have them for a total cost of 90. What was it? 90, and we have 77 left. So we can't really do that much more for now, but we'll, we'll grab these guys and we'll have them link up with. Yeah, let's wait. I'm not sure if you could actually. No, you can't move them until the next no. turn. So we'll. Try and get yeah, we can always escape if it looks like it's going to be dangerous. And here we can oh, see, we can see how many yeah. Have, yeah. So this is the village of Kevla. It has some food, some wares, some population of eleven, and you can see where they get their stuff basically. Yeah. And this is just a generic fraction. Uh, it's like a Viking fraction. Yeah, it's like a human Viking fraction. So can you improve the lands around? Yes, you could. I think for I think we. You could actually get cities to become bigger. They grow organically. Yeah, but can you also improve the... I'm not sure. The Maybe we can fights. actually do more stuff this round when, than we did when we were yeah. smaller because know, we didn't really understand how it worked. I know we can build roads and things like yes, that. Yes, we usually did that yeah. quite a lot and it's super good yeah. because you move way faster and when you have a lot of gold that's basically all you can do. And you could also build um, guard towers, yeah. which is also super good. We'll do that when we get to it. Yeah. but. First, uh, I think we should just, you know, pay them a visit. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, here we go. This is the battle scene. Yeah. It's turn-based, just as the rest of the game. Yeah. It's tile-based. Yes. Yeah. 
think right. that's slightly better. Yeah. Um, anyway, so what we have here is basically they had quite a few people. Yeah. Some villages have like two or three guys with pitchforks, and that's about <laughs> it. Uh, these guys are stone slingers. Yes. And yeah, they can be super there, annoying uh, for some reason. Okay, let's see. Could you. Here's a quick there, yeah. Oh, now we're back to this uh, strange flickering. Oh, yeah. No, so here we go. So. You can see when you have a unit that have like a bow, you can see how far they can hit. This is a hero, so he can hit really long. He could probably hit this guy if this guy had been dead. Yeah. Um, so. These guys are their equivalent of archers. Yeah. Sometimes they're super good for some reason. They have basically crap stats, but sometimes he just hits hit like a, a good run. Um, if I remember correctly, like the sweet spot for hitting these guys was like slightly above the chest. That was our theory, I think. Really, it's a dice roll, but... <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Okay, so basically, as long as you try to hit them... And the, the I think, was it one hit? Was I think two? they only take one, but the number that we can see above... Is above the, health. the health. Yeah, that's the health points. I'm not sure if they have one or two health points, these chaps, but I think they have one. So, okay, let's try and kill this guy. Yes, yes. he had one. <laughs> so let's leave this guy there, I think. Yeah, and go for this one and try to hit... Yeah, he can't do anything about these guys either. Uh, we should probably take... Oh, we should have taken these guys up because they were going for our archer, but, you know. And he missed. And that's kind of what this is all about. So I think we should move him down so he can tackle these guys when they arrive. Maybe we should do the same or take him down here. Yeah, move him diagonally, I think. Like this. Yeah. And they will basically charge ahead. They will actually do that even if they're like vastly outnumbered and you with better guys. Yes. And we also have put them in stupid mode. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we should probably kill this guy. Yeah. Which we did. <laughs> and we maybe. could leave these. For, yeah, let's shoot someone first. We could leave our, um, our uh, soldiers here, yeah. Here. Uh, so that we have time to shoot more. Yeah, so let's do next and next. And that's how you skip. Uh, it's basically the skip button. Yeah, and they all have one, as we can see there. And some, I mean, these peasants with the pitchforks are usually quite bad. But sometimes we used to have, like, what we call, like, a ninja peasant. Who would just basically dual wield his pitchfork and kill yeah. stuff. But it's probably just random yes. shenanigans. Yes, and one I more. think that that's what the difficulty level does to a large extent. So these are within... Yeah, exactly. We can... Well, we can miss. Yeah. <laughs> so they're within the hitting range, so we need to cut them down. Yeah, and now that's the little sword thing. So and I think they get... So what happens when you attack is we get one strike. If they survive, they get a strike back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And luckily he, our Viking hero didn't... And we'll remain so we here. E because then we'll soak up... Well, it might be better just... Yeah, let's just go back. back. See if this guy... This is the same here. He usually can handle this. Yeah. But with these base units... I don't quite don't remember how they... Can they recover health? No, not during battle. No, but after battles. Yes, for sure. How? It, they, they just have it, it back. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think... I don't remember if they got like one back each turn, but I think they actually just got them back. Yeah, maybe. And he missed, which is bad. But I don't think it matters that much. No, and here we have the parry, and unfortunately yeah. for him, we parried as well. And we can remain here for now, and let's see if we can end this battle. We cannot. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I think no, he'll probably go for the slingshots. Yeah, we should push ahead. I'm not sure how far he can throw them, but now now he has to go for the close. Well, that's weird. Oh, it's quite and dangerous. it's over. Yeah, <laughs> he had some game. So now we have several choices to make. We yes. can raid this, which means we'll take some gold and raid. And uh, raid is the s the lightest level. You'll take right. some gold, but not much. Plunder is like we're going for it, but we still let the villagers live, and they'll be slightly reduced in numbers. Yes. And raid is basically what it says. It's like you'll yeah. kill everyone, and subject is basically we take this village, yeah. and it's ours. Which we might want. We, shouldn't we? No, we should attempt to raid this one. That was, no, yeah, that was the idea. But we'll come back next turn and take it, I think. But it said that we could fail to raid it, so I think any of these options. Then count. maybe we should have subjugate then. Have a Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. See what happens. 
Because now we got 168 gold, 11 population killed, which is unfortunate, but we killed them. <laughs> and we got one new recruit back home, which is nice. And we also have... Yeah, exactly. You have to leave some guys. That's also one of the key things about taking recruits. It's only these two units that can populate a town. Yeah. And if you leave two of them, it'll be slightly bigger to start off. If you don't leave any, it will be defended by farmers. Yes. No, I think you have to have one in order to colonize it at all. Yeah, you do. Uh, so maybe we should just leave one. Maybe we should leave the... the this guy. Or no, the, the other, other guy. Way around, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we still have the bow. Yeah. So I don't think anyone's going to come attack us. So time. we have our first village. And you have shown yourself to be a true Viking warrior in completing this quest. And Velada the Prophetess gives you... An elven chainmail, an elf who, and two units of elf. This is really good. That was worth it. That was so good. Okay, so let's basically build a power unit and equip the chainmail. Yes. And this is the same. Yeah. yeah full trade friendly. is what we like. Ross, daughter of so you can see Hoder is on the yellow. Troll, yeah. Um, so track. they have some that overlaps. Yeah. I'm not sure what he wanted. Good door. God oh, this is good, but we don't know any of those locations no. for now. We'll be back. Yeah, and uh, what happens is because he's on the troll track, if yep. we complete it, we will get a troll hero. Yes, which is a super good melee unit. Yeah, um, they have, I think, the highest combat stats in melee. Yes. But um, should Ross, we go for this one now? Um, have we done it yet? We have not. No, I don't think we have. Ruler, so, God of oh, that's too much money. Yeah. We, we could do this. We might even do this. Yeah. What does Forsetti want? Forsetta. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, oh, we should have... Yeah, we could have... Yeah, we could have gotten two for one there, but... Yeah, okay. let's, let's go with this one. So... Um, that was the end of part one of our full story run of the game Hammer of the Gods. And this video, we spent quite a bit of time talking about the game in general where it came from, background, a uh, company who did it, the story, the lore, and then we uh, went and started the campaign, picked a fraction, went through um, what we could and couldn't do, and we ended off with founding our first village. Uh, hopefully this has been both fun and interesting to you fine viewers out there. It certainly was a walk down memory lane for me and K of D. I hope to see you again in the next part when we will continue this full story run with the elves. And until then, I wish you the best of times. And as per usual, game your little souls away. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.